Hi. Hello, everyone. And welcome to our fourth installment of the Mars Minute, um, where every other week we pick an episode of Veronica Mars and a topic surrounding that episode. And then we banter adorably. <laughs> Hi, Lila. Hi, Lila. Thank you so much for the snowman. This week we're talking about episode four of season one, The Wrath of Khan, which we know is a much beloved episode for those Veronica Mars fans out there. This episode is titled, What the Skinny Dip, where we analyze the skinny dipping scene at the end of the episode. Well, first off, we want to give a shout out to our apparently international group of followers yes we do we seem to have lots of uh followers in the czech republic and <laughs> finland so uh feel free to say hello um if you really are from the czech republic or finland because there seems to be a large concentration of you but we have yet to see a finnish follower <laughs> and also a lot of you in new york who we are very jealous of that you all get to go to the premiere together but we don't dwell on it. Oh, I'm dwelling. I'm <laughs> dwelling from Canada. Cool. So uh, there's been a lot of contention surrounding this episode because in case you don't remember or you haven't seen Veronica Mars, in which case, why are you watching this video? Um, Veronica, to honor Lily, uh, goes skinny dipping on Homecoming. And she looks really nice. She has her hair done, her makeup done, a nice dress, and she uh, dives in to or the ocean, she's in California, the ocean. and yeah. uh, ruins her hair and her makeup and puts her dress back on without a towel, which just so, seems uncomfortable on so many levels. There's a lot of things that are problematic about this scene, um, so we wanted to know what you, our viewers, thought was most problematic about this scene. So we sent out a little poll, gave you seven options for what you found to be most problematic, and we're just going to let you know how the results broke down. The least problematic issue uh, with zero votes is I have issues with public nudity. She should have been arrested. So good to know we have nobody who is anti-skinny dipping who is following this blog. Our second least was a tie. Uh, so 9% uh, of you, or eight votes, had a problem that Wallace, Troy, and Georgia could have seen her from the limo come on. And uh, another eight of you said sand would be <clears throat> gathered in uncomfortable places. That, that's a valid to, point. That is a valid point. I voted for that one. Yeah. Um, and I mean, I think Wallace is enough of a gentleman that he would be making sure there would be absolutely no peeking. So Next we have 12% uh, and 11 votes said putting on a satin dress whilst still damp, uncomfortable. I voted for that one. That's really gross. <laughs> <laughs> I like to be completely dry before I get dressed. So the idea, especially because it's satin, moist satin, to quote Ghost Cat 3000. Moist sandy satin. Moist sandy satin. Disgusting. <laughs> and then we had three winners. each. Uh, so each had 24% or 22 votes. Uh, there was a big concern with her hair. What the hell happened to her hair? Um, and then also, uh, where was her towel? She would just be chilling in the limo, soaking wet. I completely agree with that one. Just did Obviously, then, they knew what she did. But, I mean, she got right back in there, like, just cuddled on up to Troy. Like, oh, don't mind me dripping all over you. Uh, finally, it makes zero sense for her to show up to a school dance with wet hair and a damp dress. Zero. Which Kate had a really good point about this. Um, so she goes to school every day. These people hate her. They make fun of her. Her extracurricular activities are all anyone talks about. And she's going to show up to school with wet hair and a damp dress. Like, is that really the best move in this situation? She's not about to start any trends. <laughs> what hair looks so uh, and I would also like to point out that there on the DVDs there is a deleted scene for this episode uh, where we see Veronica get back into the limo she is wearing the dress her makeup is pretty much washed off and her hair is wet but she seems to be dry 
Um, so I, I think there is something that we're not considering, which is maybe um, Veronica well, sprayed herself with Scotch Guard before she went skinny dipping. Maybe her body, body naturally repels water, so she didn't actually get wet. Like maybe that's her superpower. That brings it's up the not question dead. of how does Veronica Mars smell? Like Scotch Garden promises. And there's also the um, very popular fic option, which is that Logan <laughs> was on the beach with a towel. So, uh, we'll but they end up to not meeting with a towel. Yeah. I mean, so we, he uh, gave her the towel the... after. Maybe he gave her. Sometimes they end up laying on the towel. But so we'll link to some of those pics below for you to uh, to check out. Uh, so if you have any other insight into the skinny dipping scene, especially concerning the deleted scene, because we haven't seen it in a while, go ahead and provide your insights by reblogging this video and adding them to the bottom. We'd love to hear what you have to think about this. Or if there's something else that disturbs you about this scene that we are not paying attention to, bring light to that issue. Oh, Kate, God. have you ever been skinny dipping? I actually haven't. That is one thing I've never done. But in my defense, I live in Canada, and my area of Canada is only warm for like one month out of the year. And our lakes, like I live in the Great Lakes area, are always freezing to death. So no, I have never gone skinny dipping because I like to keep all of my body parts and not have hypothermia. <laughs> have you ever been skinny dipping? I did. I have been skinny dipping. And I have a t-shirt. I got after going skinny dipping that on the back says the naked or bold. They actually gave you t-shirts for skinny dipping? It was a college thing. Well, it's more than Veronica got. All she got was a bad reputation and some wet hair in her homecoming pictures. So And some moist sandy satin. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now it's time for our adorable sign-off. I think for our adorable sign-off, we would like to share with you a picture of a snowman that was made for us by Lila. So oh. thank you so much for photo, Lila. It was yes. the most amazing snowman I have ever seen. Bye, guys. Farewell. We'll see you in a fortnight. <laughs>